Hello everyone, I welcome you all on my channel Doctor's Desk, myself Dr. Sagar Pushp, ADMO in the Railways. So I told you earlier, uh, I'm going to share about the, the various opportunities for the medical graduates. So in the continuation of that, uh, today we're going to know about the Central Armed Police Forces Medical Officers. So in this video, we're going to discuss about the details about the medical officers in Central, Central Armed Police Forces when we can join, about the salary, eligibility, age limit, probation period and the promotion. All these things we're going to discuss in this video. Hope uh, this, gonna, this video is going to help you in choosing your career. So let's start the video now. Hello everyone. So uh, firstly we will know the uh, basics about the Central Armed Police Forces and then we will move towards the medical field. So basically the governing body of the Central Armed Police Forces is the Ministry of Home Affairs and it includes the BSF, CRPF, CISF, ITVP, SSB mainly. But in the medical fields uh, when the recruitment will be done then it includes the Assam Weapons also. So we will know the basic details about this Central Armed Police Forces uh, medical officers in further slides. So if you want to be join this Central Armed Police Forces, it's a Group A Gadgeted Officer. You will be the Group A Gadgeted Officer and you can join at three levels. First after MBBS or after PG or after Super Specialization as Second in Command. If you join as a MBBS, you will be joining as a Assistant Commandant, then after PG, then as a Deputy Commandant and after Super Specialization as in Second in Command Officer. So, so firstly, we'll know uh, after MBBS if you want to join, uh, what post we'll get and how to apply and what will be all the eligibility uh, and what is the age limit and how much salary you want to get and uh, what all, all are the promotions you want to get after uh, doing uh, four or five years of service. And about also the if you want to go for the post graduation, so how much year you have to uh, give your service after before going for post graduation. So after MBBS, if you are joining, you are joining as an assistant commandant. And uh, eligibility will see uh, you should have MBBS degree or uh, it should be registered from uh, MCI, NMC or any state or any of the state medical council. You should have completed your internship. If anyone undergoing the internship, uh, then he also can apply. But provided that if he selected, then uh, they shall have satisfactory completed the completely uh, compulsory internship before your appointment. So these are the basic eligibility. If you see the age limit, then it should not be exceeding 30 years as on being closing date of application. Uh, salary will be like level 10 of pay matrix, uh, seventh pay commission. As you all, all, all of you know that in many places uh, they are getting that this much only. So basic pay will be like uh, other officers, like 56,100 per month. Plus you will get the other benefits like non-practice allowances, dearness allowances, transport allowances, house rate allowances and other uh, other allowances as per rules. And the probation will be of uh, two years. And someone uh, want to do the PG, then uh, you have to do the regular five year of service. After that, you can appear for the post graduation examination. So uh, now after uh, post graduation, if someone want to join, then he uh, or she can join because and the benefits uh, you will get that you, you will get the posting in uh, the tier 2 or tier 3 cities and uh, not in uh, some small town or there and uh, you will be posted in uh, super specialty or uh, multi specialty hospital so it's a very good uh, choice if you someone has did their post graduation and want this want to join this service and if someone uh, earlier uh, want to go to the army then it will be equivalent level so after uh, post graduation if you want to join then you can join this central armed police forces as a medical officer and you are joining as a deputy commandant you will be joining as a deputy commandant eligibility will be same like mbbs degree and have to be registered to register to the mci nmc state medical council and you should have completed your internship and should also possess a post graduation degree or the diploma in concerned specialty some th some important one I want to know that uh, you, you, you should have to be uh, one and a half year experience in the your concerned specialty if you if you did their uh, post graduation degree or if you have done uh, post graduation diploma then you have to be experience uh, you have uh, experience you, you should have experience of two and a half years after your PG diploma age limit if you go then it should not be exceeding 40 years uh, as on the closing date of receipt of application. So these are the basic details uh, of eligibility if you want to join after the post graduation. Now the salary, if you are joining as a 
deputy commandant after the post graduation the salary will be level 11 of the paid matrix that is the basic salary will be 67700 plus other allowances like non practice allowances dns allowances transport allowances and house rent allowances and other allowances uh, as per the rules and the probation will be again the same the second year so i have told that about the after mbbs if you are joining then following are the eligibility and uh, salary and basic pay and uh, probation period and if you want to do the post graduation then you have to uh, regular service you have to be do the regular service service of five years so if someone want to join after the super specialization so uh, you are joining as a uh, second in command in the post i am telling and eligibility will be same mbbs registered uh, in mci nmc state medical counseling or you should have uh, completed your internship you should possess all your post graduation or a diploma degree the important point uh, you have to note that you should possess the DM or MCS degree or equivalent with three years experience in the concerned super specialty after obtaining your first graduate degree. Means if you have completed your post graduation or you have uh, and after that you have did uh, three uh, three years service in concerned super specialty, then it will be counted as equivalent to the uh, DM or MCH for the uh, post of. Uh, second in command in the central armed police forces so and one more thing uh, senior residency period will also be counted towards the experience only so now it's a good so a good option now uh, if you joining after super specialization as a second in command then age limit you should not exceeding 50 years as on the closing date of the receipt of the application same i am told you and salary will be level 11 of the seventh pay matrix then the basic pay you are joining is a 78,800 per month plus other benefits like non-practice allowances which I had told uh, in previous slides and the probation will be remain the same that the uh, two years. Now if you'll see the promotion part, this is the most important part, uh, promotion, you are joining as your assistant commandment, commandant after the MBBS that is the level 10 of the 7th pay matrix. After four years, four years of service, you will, be, you will promote to the deputy commandant that is level 11, that is the junior scale. And after five years of your service, you will become the second in command that is level 12. And after four years, again, then you will become the commandant. And then after three years, you will become the level 13 A commandant. And after that, you will become the SAG grade like commandant level 14, that is the highest level so uh, i have told you the all the details regarding the basic details like what will be the eligibility uh, salary and if you want to join after the mbbs after post graduation or after super specialization so i have told all basic details uh, if you want to join it's a very good option because if you are joining after the mbbs it may be possible you will post it to the small places it's uh, happening in the other cadre also and if you are joining uh, after the post graduation or super specialization it's maximum chances are that that uh, you're gonna post it in uh, big cities where the um, other uh, big hospitals super specialty hospitals are, uh, are there uh, which belongs to the central armed police forces so it's a very good option and uh, i explained all the basic details in the next video i'm going to tell about the what is the med method of selection to this post uh, for this job what uh, exam you have to face uh, vacancies how much will be there and make a medical examination i mean so you have to under you have, after clearing your interview you have to be uh, under medical examination uh, what all some conditions are there which you have you should know uh, i'm gonna tell you in the next video and how to apply for uh, this job so all these details i'm gonna share uh, post in next video so hope uh, you have enjoyed this video and uh, uh, in upcoming videos, I'm going to share some more important things regarding uh, opportunities for the medical graduates. So I hope that you have liked my other videos and uh, thanks for your comments and your love which have shown to my channel. So, so thanks for watching. I uh, hope you have enjoyed this video and in, um, in uh, upcoming videos, I'm going to tell all, uh, all the details about the uh, Central Armed Force, uh, Police Forces and after that, I want to share uh, the interview of uh, the people working in that uh, Central Armed Force Police Forces. So hope uh, that uh, we, after that video, you'll, you're going to clear all your doubts. And after that also, if you are, if you are any, any doubt uh, related to this video, you can post in the comment section. And you can also post in my uh, other pages like Insta, Facebook and the Telegram. Uh, all the details are given in the description. So hope uh, you have enjoyed this video. So wait for the ne uh, next video. Till then now, thanks for watching.